So I want to start this video by saying rest in peace to all the people who passed away at the Travis Scott concert last night. When a life is lost, it's always a tragic thing. These kids were expecting to have the night of their life, and unfortunately some of them are not here today. So I thought we'd start with a short moment of silence before I really get into my feelings about this topic. So it's no secret that a rap concert has become a dangerous place to be, especially when it comes to certain artists. I've probably been to around 20 rap shows in my life, and slowly I pretty much stopped going because I hated the atmosphere of the crowd. Like I'm really convinced that some people go to these events just to get rowdy and be punching and pushing random people. I went to an Odd Future concert and that was pretty much it for me, because Jesus Christ you can't even enjoy the show because the whole crowd is just forcing you around the entire time. And I know there's some people out there who literally live for moments like this but it's just not me just the idea of jumping around with thousands of other people like not even moshing at this point sounds horrible to me like if there is not an individual seat and a readily available bathroom somewhere nearby you will not see me at an event like this I mean, I know there's millions of people who feel the opposite way, and if that's you, I would appreciate you dropping a comment why you love it so much. No hate, no judgment, it's really just not for me. And the other question I was asking myself about is at what point does the artist become responsible for the environment in which they create? For example, Travis has a history dating all the way back to like 2014 of encouraging his fans to go fucking crazy and mosh their hearts out at his show. Now that's not to say he's responsible for all 50,000 people who came to see him, but I do think he should have tried to control the environment better. This is how a fan described the concert, and it's actually really scary. It just felt like we was like literally like in fucking hell, bro. Like it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe, you couldn't see. Like just imagine all the people they gonna find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out, and everybody was just trampling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like. In the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainted. And the people were trying, the medics were trying to give them CPR. And they was flipping them over. And like, they was literally turning black and blue. Like, I never seen no, I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably like 10 fucking people laid out dead. And like, once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do like this shit like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight like that was like some demonic shit like and what was so crazy like people were screaming help trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott they was like help the whole crowd was just going like help 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 and he just kept going bro and mind you y'all see the type of music I make y'all see everything like you know like I've been so heavily influenced by Travis but like after tonight bro like God really showed me, like, you know, like, stay away from that shit, bro. Like, that shit not for you. Because, like, he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight. Like, for real. Like, so many people's lives are gone tonight. Because they want to go to a fucking Travis Scott concert and have fun. You know, he influenced people to be raging and all this shit. So many people broke in. And it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. A lot of people at these shows are obviously on drugs, most of them are dehydrated, there's strobe lights going on and thousands of people all huddled up together, and what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of room for something to go wrong in this type of environment. And I won't show you the videos, but there's footage of kids passing out and having seizures right in front of Travis, who chose to have this bird's eye view of his concert, and he's just looking at the kids and keeps singing his songs and doing the robot. People did note that he did stop the concert a couple times to try and get attention to people who were passing out. Somebody help him. Somebody pass him over here. He passed out. God. Somebody pass him over here. Hold on. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Somebody, somebody help. Jump in real quick. But in my mind, he probably should just stop the show periodically, like in between songs. Make the whole crowd go silent and just make sure that everyone's okay. I've been to a couple Logic concerts in my life and those nerds actually go crazy, okay? People are moshing and shit. And look at this clip of him commanding the crowd and setting expectations. Now here's one thing I want to say. I can't tell you how many times this shit happens at a concert. This is real. I want you guys to make sure that you feel okay and you're good. Is it another one? Well, let's do the same thing. Somebody pick them up and everybody right here, look at me. Everybody look at me. And I want you to spread like this. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, everything's fine. Are you guys okay? You having a good time? Yeah! Well, listen, 
You guys make sure that you're drinking water, stay hydrated. People come here, they wait, they wait outside for hours all day. You know what I'm saying? I get it, I feel you, but it's like, let me ask you, everybody in the back, can you see me just fine? Are you having a good time in the back? But what about up top in the back? Can you see me? Are you having a good time? Okay, good. So no matter where you are from the front and in the middle and on the side, like it ain't worth waking up in a hospital tomorrow. If you're thirsty, go get something to drink. Do you hear what I'm saying? Now, can we run this back and have some fun? And I know that crowd really doesn't compare to 50,000 people, but Travis should know what's up by now. You know, this is not his first rodeo. And this concert was obviously understaffed, poorly managed, and overcrowded. And that's not even to mention how many people were chanting for him to stop the show. Stop the show! Stop the show! Stop the show! Stop the show! Eight people have been confirmed dead, 23 people were sent to the hospital, and over 300 people had to be treated by medical professionals yesterday. Either way, what a tragic day yesterday was. Rest in peace to those who lost their lives, my condolences to their families, and just be safe guys, you know at this point, just waking up the next day is an absolute blessing. Y'all be careful out there this weekend, I'm serious about that one guys. Be safe, take care of each other, that's all I can really say. I'm out. Peace.